Shalom. Kah Laimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekwakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you in another lesson. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? So many people, when they wake up to the truth, they come in with their emotions or worldly, secular understanding and views, which does not mix well with the scriptures. So the Bible says that a particular people were created to be used as a model of destruction and not get salvation. So they would be used as a vessel of wrath, tailor-made to be destroyed, pursuant to Romans chapter 9. Many of our women wrestle with these scriptures, particularly the ones about salvation being only for the Israelites, elect. And that does not mean you're not going to have other nations in the kingdom. Many of the other nations will be salvaged to serve. So they'll be preserved just to go into slavery. That's what, that's what the Bible says. <clears throat> so anyway, the Most High has made a vessel for honor that are going to be delivered and get the glory. And he has made a vessel that is full of defilement, filth, that's vile. Base men. I'm going to let this video play. This is a video by the beloved brother GMS Amaf, your ice, your howarder. So let's let this video play. So this, this is a man here that got angry when he saw the sign of white Jesus with the horns on it. Let's play the video. Man. This is a man. Play this again, man. To suffer with. Damn demons, bro. Oh, my Lord. He, 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 you can't even talk. Look at that. Damn demon, bro. Oh. Insect. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, Miss Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> so. <clears throat> The understanding is they were not made or suited to be delivered and to inherit the kingdom. That's not their lot. And many Israelites wrestle with this. This one fact. Let's go into the Bible. <coughs> I'm going to go here first. I'm going to share and copy and paste the brother's link. Let's go here first. Yeah, hold on. This is the ESV, English Standard Version of the Bible, Hebrews 12, verse 15. See to it that no one fail to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness spring up and cause trouble, and by it many become defiled that no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau, who, for, who sold his birthright for a single meal. So this man, <coughs> excuse me, is not holy, which means clean, sanctified. When we study the, the Genesis chapter 7, and we study the story of the flood and Noah. He grabbed seven unclean animals 
and two clean animals. So the clean are suitable to eat, which represents meat that's good for repentance of those that are going to be delivered on this side. But there are also vessels that are not going to be delivered, that are not fit for consumption or repentance. Another example is shellfish. When this net, this Bible, is cast into the sea, it brings up both clean and unclean vessels. Or the Edomites are unclean. They're not fit or suited to be sanctified or holy. Let's look at this word unholy. We'll read it again. Hebrews 12, verse 15. See to it that no one fail to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness spring up and cause trouble, and by it many become defiled. That no, that no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau, who sold his birthright for a single meal. I'm going to go into that word unholy. For ye know that afterward, when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no chance to repent though he sought it with tears. So he is an unclean vessel. I'm going to go into that word unholy. Also godless that's in here. One moment. Yeah, it's, it's called an unholy godless. All right, well, just look that up. Comes from the Greek. <clears throat> Strong's G 952. Bebelos. Bebelos. See, wicked, profane, heathenish, unhallowed. So they are the wicked. They are the physical manifestation of the spiritual demon, Satan. So they don't get salvation. Let's go here. <coughs> Excuse me. Book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 23. And the Lord, let's go up to verse 23. One, and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her and she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she sought out a seer. Why am I having such birth pains, turmoil in my womb? <clears throat> if this be ordained of you, why does it not seem such? Why does it not seem to be so? Let's look at this word, struggled. Struggle comes from the Hebrew Strong's H, 7533, Ratsats, Ratsats. To bruise, crush, oppress. <coughs> so when Jacob is ruling, the Edomites are under oppression. When the Edomites are ruling, that's the hell on earth for Jacob, the Israelites. So these two nations cannot rule at the same time. So right now we're in the age of Esau, 
the revised Roman Empire. That's why the Roman numerals we have. We got Latin on the money. And the lawyers and the doctors still use Latin writing. So this is a rebirth of the Roman Empire under the Edomites. Discourage, oppress. <coughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Genesis 25, verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bow, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So Jake is mentally, spiritually, and physically, and morally stronger than Esau Edom. Michael Jackson dominating the music industry, pop music, hip hop music. Mike Tyson, and that turn that name Michael Mayaka Allah, who is like the most high. Michael Jordan. So the Israelites have a gift to be spiritually morally and eth ethically sound, stable. Our forefather Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. So that word plain goes back to righteous, wholesome. So it's not in our spirit to do these abominations. That's why the Most High said, be ye separate. Which means, which means holy, for I am holy. So the Edomites are vulgar, vile, grotesque. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bow, and the one people shall be stronger than than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So the Edomites would eventually break the yoke from off their neck. They rebelled under the tribe of Judah in the southern kingdom. When the kingdom of Israel split between north and south, they rebelled under Judah. So they are prisoners on the loose. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, they were twins in her womb. There were twins in her womb, fraternal twins. And this is possible because a so-called black man and a so-called black woman can have a blonde-haired, blue-eyed child. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Let's keep going. So they are born to be vow. How do we know that? Well, let's go to Job. Job 30. They cannot step outside of their creator, of the potter. We cannot go above or beyond our lot, our measurements, which is controlled by the Most High. Let's change this back to the KJV. See, Job chapter 30, let's go to verse Five. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. So in the ancient world, the Edomites would rob your farm, your agriculture, vegetables and fruits. They would steal your cattle, vagabonds, 
to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Caucasian means cave dweller, which comes out of the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Cave dwellers. To dwell, <clears throat> excuse me, to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together. Whenever you capture prisoners of war, search, silence, segregate, and speed to the rear, back to garrison. So they lost their language and began to bray like horses. The elders were separated from the children, so they would lose their, their connectivity or their link to the leaders. And the children would eventually lose their language. That's why they were braying like horses. Search, silence, segregate, and speed back to the rear, garrison. Let's read it again. Job 30, verse 7. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. See, base men. Hence, caveman. Let's look up that term. See, a fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So that's Esau right now, followed by the two-third Israelites, the rebels. They exalt themselves. Let's look up this term, base men. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 8034. Shame, shame. Character, implication, the, the idea of definite and conspicuous position. Infamous. So they are infamous. The opposite of famous. Basement. Let's look at that term, vow or viler. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's age, 5217. Nacha. Nacha. To be vow. Scourge. It basically means defiled or grotesque. See, let's go here. <clears throat> go to Psalms 58, verse 3. The wicked are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So being vow lacks integrity. They're profane. So they lack uprightness. When we go to Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Profane. Comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 952. Bebelos. Bebelos. See, wicked. Unholy. ungodly. So now we know this is talking about 
one nation out of the Bible's table of 18 nations. Let's go back. Psalms 58, verse 3. The wicked are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So their, in, their integrity is off. Their religious institutions are off. Their public food system is off. Their educational structure is off. Their religion, their science is off. Misleading. Let's go to Psalms 144. The book of Psalms, chapter 144, verse 7. Send thine hand from above, rid me, and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children. So they are strange. Go back to this. <clears throat> Right about here. This is a man. Let me play this again, man. To suffer with them demons, bro. Look at that. Them demons, bro. Huh? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Holy <clears throat> Psalms 147, Psalms 144, verse 7. Send thine hand from above, rid me, and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children. Let's go down to verse 8. Whose mouth speak vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. See, the wicked are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So they are masters of deception, misdirection, and deflection. Everything is anti-SEM. Everything. When you trap them or catch them in their lies. Psalms 144, verse 11. Read me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehoods, that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace. So we have to be separated from them. Holy, which means separate. See, Genesis 25, verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Separated. Holy. Let's get one more. Job 14 Let's go to verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean, not one? So you cannot save these devils. They're not going to be sanctified or cleansed by the word. They're made to be unholy, a vessel of wrath fitted to destruction, pursuant to Romans chapter 9. So they're not, they're not going to be cleansed by the word. Let me go here. Let's see, 
think it's right here. See? Psalms 119, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? So the elect of Israel is being sanctified by this truth. Go here. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The Israelites are being cleansed. The elect. How do we know that? Well, let's go up to verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine and all mine and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. So the Lord Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, gets his glory through his elect, his clean sanctuary. But the Edomites, they're not made to be cleansed by the word. Now we have Israelites that look like Edomites, but they're Israelites based on the seed of their father. Job 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of it unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he could not pass. So this man is on a set timeline. And his time is up. The chain or the yoke is being broken off the neck of Jake. That's why the Edomites are being scourged, rebuked, reproved. In these last days being called a byword and a proverb, being chastised by Jake. For the build-up, Esau, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Esau thinks, as it says, pursuant to uh, Psalms 49 and 11, they think they're going to go on forever. That we got to put these niggas back in their place. You put us in captivity. Now you got to go into captivity. That's all throughout the scriptures. Anyway, I just want you to listen to this. I'm going to start it at 135. One minute and 35 seconds in. There's a goddamn commercial. Listen. If you start a corner, if you start... If you saw a coroner, there has been a death in my family. That was Sunday. On my niece is oh, dead. So therefore, we have family out of town. We have military people that are in our family. My mother, my father, my sister's father. We are a close-knit family. Right, right, so what you will not do is disrespect this house. What we pay. You what you will not do. Well, you See that finger thing? That finger pointing thing? Look, Jake is going to fuck you, you devils up. You know? They're going to fuck you devils up. What he's saying is backed up by scripture in Ezekiel chapter 25. Okay, it's coming to a head, man. Coming to a head. You going down and Jake is coming up. And when we get you devils in the captivity, we're going to fuck you up forever. So what? So what? Oh, I've been waiting to run into a Karen. I've been waiting to run into one of you. I've been waiting to run into one of you. So what? Okay, don't disrespect her. Don't disrespect her. So now that's what she wants you to do. Don't give her what she wants. 
What you will not do? Yeah, so you can mark your ass. No, you ain't, you fucking devil. You ain't sorry for her loss. If you if you can have it your way, all the Jakes would be dead. The fuck you talking about, man? Back to your residence. You go back to your residence. Bye. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I got you on camera. Go ahead, Karen. Bye. 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 Devil. Women don't like to be called Karen. They know about Karen. That's cool. Go <laughs> walk down the street, Karen. What? They don't like to be called Karen. But listen up. Listen up. Here it comes. Bye. Call them. Matter of fact, y'all call the police. Call the police, Diddy. Nothing. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me and my family? We're not your typical, typical African Americans. So what about us being black? So what? So what? So what? We're the real Jews. We're the real. You heard what that devil Karen said? She said, "I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish." So, so the so-called black woman said, "We're the real Jews." <clears throat> so anyway, this truth is out. It's out, and telling the truth is starting to get demonized in these last days, just for telling the truth. America has cultivated a cancel culture. When you tell the truth, you're demonized. Nobody wants to hear the truth. But they claim to build a doctrine or a constitution on truth and equity. But it's flawed. It's only benef it only benefits one side. Shalom.